Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk about a Bitcoin ASIC, uh, specifically the S19s uh, series family, that there is a firmware update from Hivon or Hive OS, and they have basically enabled these S19s to garner a little bit more hash rate and potentially some efficiency as well. So I want to talk about that in this video. Thank you to Hivon for sponsoring this video. Just being transparent here, they wanted me to portray this firmware update to you guys. Sadly though, I was not able to update my S19J Pro 104 terahash and uh, I'll quickly, I'll explain that in a sec, but there's other things I want to go through in this video as well. Just seeing if, you know, this doing this firmware update could potentially get, garner a little bit more efficiency for my ASIC going along guys let, let's go first uh, before I explain you know what this firmware entails and the numbers and stuff I'll quickly tell you you know I tried to do it on my S19J Pro you guys know it's in my garage in a, in a soundproof box it's following the installation guide okay like very easy you have to format an SD card uh, to FAT32 so I just got a 32 gig SD card and they did say here and that the pre is an SD card of up to 16 gigabyte is required uh, people, a lot of people I've been reading online said 32 gig, you may cause errors. Okay, so it's best to get a 16 gig card to do it. So I was living dangerously and I decided to do it on a 32 gig that I had laying around. But ultimately I didn't do it anyway. But anyways, very easy, right? Format to F32, going into the computer format. And then I downloaded the archive, my S19J Pro, right? Download that. And then I extracted it and then I put it on the SD card and then ejected it and then I opened up my S19 and I had it all taped up already because it was in the sound isolating box and then I took off the top lid and then I was reading up a little bit more in the beginning of the important notes that firmware packages can only be installed on the series 19 single deck Xilinx control board double deck boards are not supported until further notice so I have I personally have a double decked S19J Pro 104 terahash so i i'm not able to do it and so I, I wish i could show you guys in this video but ultimately i could not do it. i could not insert the card and uh turn on the asic to get to get this firmware update but apparently that's gonna come pretty soon hopefully and so when that time comes i can show you guys uh here so link down below here in case you guys are interested in trying it yourself the biggest thing for me like i want to have my asics on hive os so that i could essentially control it and they do have ASIC hub as well, uh, if you had thousands of ASICs, but essentially I wanted to see my ASICs in, in Hive OS, right? So anyways, let's quickly go through the numbers here of, uh, I guess, this, the specs of this firmware. So they says, why choose Hive on ASIC firmware? Increase your hash rate up to 30%. Hive on ASIC firmware allows you to increase your hash rate 30%, uh, depending on the miner model, and therefore increase your profitability. To check the percent hash rate increase, please select your model. Reduce the electricity consumption. So this is for like efficiency. Hivon ASIC firmware considerably reduces your electricity consumption in comparison to stock firmware through chip tuning and selecting optimal voltage for the chips without decreasing hash rate. So that's that's pretty cool, man. I wish I wish I could try this soon. Keep your miner safe from viruses to avoid infection risks and potential time and money expenses for recovering from viruses. It's essential to protect your devices in advance by installing Hivon ASIC firmware. Your miner will be protected even if infected devices appear in the local network. Oh, interesting. Uh, integrate the miners into Hive OS for free. Oh, monitor your ASIC miners from anywhere. Check hash rate, chip errors, power consumption, uh, remote troubleshooting, perform batch updates across your entire farm. Yeah, see, this is this is mainly why I want to have my ASICs on, on Hive OS. It's uh, nice and easy to manage. Hive OS is free for Hivon ASIC firmware users interesting interesting i believe there is a dev fee though okay so hive os is free for hive on asic firmware users with only up to three percent dev fee in parallel mining okay so i i guess the dev fee is only with parallel mining i don't think there is a dev fee within the hive on asic firmware uh, from my knowledge uh, you guys can let me know down below going along utilize immersion cooling mode when this mode is enabled the miner stops the checking its fans allowing the owner to detach them and put the device in an immersion bath oh that's pretty cool locate your miner asic miner almost instantly if you have dozens of or hundreds of devices you can use asic locate option the led of the desired device will start blinking when you press a button on the control panel additional perks make a big difference suspend resume maximize profitability by optimizing chip parameters like this is there's a lot of stuff here which is pretty cool track consumption temperature hash rate errors even with 
events with the charts on key metrics, reduce maintenance and monitoring time. The firmware prolongs the life of your chips by preheating them at launch so that there is no sharp rises in temperature. Oh, that is that is interesting. Wow. So, so this is a lot of features here in this firmware which is which is pretty cool but i i ultimately i wish i could try it here like i said but i have the double decked one so until that uh, until that time comes out so i want to do an example like efficiency test here with you guys so with my i have a s19j pro mine can do 104 terahash at 3340 watts at the wall which i've com i've confirmed in previous videos and that's with the fans going pretty pretty hard right and the efficiency of that is about you know watt per hash here is 32 so it's in the middle ground here of uh, let's see what's minor uh 30 s plus plus is 31 this is all stock that mine's stock firmware mind you okay but once we get into the hivon s19j pro firmware you can see here i have it labeled by hivon and then i just inputted all the uh numbers here from my s19j pro their firmware profiles into here and they are it looks like it's a little bit more efficient right 105 terahash at 3250 watts that's about 30 almost 31 watt per hash okay so that's i mean that's a little bit better where we're talking about like very very mild efficiency gain here once i go into hive on according to the numbers that they said now the biggest thing i forgot to mention is silicon lottery wattage can vary between asic models so not all s19j pro 104 terahashes do the same power consumption from what i've heard so that's something to be mindful of right and depending on when it's tuning and all that stuff right it's it, it may speed up you know worn asic chips or slow down certain chips right it's 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 always it's probably going to be fluctuating a lot and depending on if the power consumption is going to be less or longer, you know, it's it's interesting the the tuning method that they portray here, which is pretty cool. But it says you can get up to 165 terahash on the S19J Pro firmware. So, ah, that's the S19 Pro, 165 terahash, 6100 watts. Wow, 6100 watts, 37 watt per terahash here. That's crazy. One, so I could potentially do 138 terahash. But at 5,000 watts, oh my god, that is that is a lot. That is a lot. But going along, guys, X, uh, Bitmain S19 XP, just stock. According to ASIC minor value, it says 140 terahash at 310 watts. So, I don't know, silicon lottery, it could be a lot more, could be a lot less, who knows. Uh, the next one, best efficiency, is the what's minor M50S, right? So that's that's interesting, that's just stock. But just... I was just showing this as an example like these are obviously newer asic models right and these are obviously going to be more efficient and uh at the stock level but once there's a firmware update for these i'm sure that these could be a little bit more a little bit more efficient and so i think the same idea goes with the hive on firmware here but once i can do it on mine then i can show you guys exactly uh the efficiency comparing it to my stock ones like 104 terahash at 300 uh, 3340 watts right so, I mean, literally, like, we're, we're talking not that big of a difference of, of efficiency here. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty close to me. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to end off, you know, uh, Hivon is not the only ASIC firmware that I've seen out there. I've also seen ASIC.to. And uh, I've seen uh, Mr. Space Design Warehouse. Wow, he's got an amazing video here uh, regarding the ASIC.to firmware. And also, I've been looking at the Awesome Miner s19 or s19j pro firmware as well so they all pretty much claim they're all claiming the exact pretty much the exact same thing as what all these other companies uh for Hi Hi hive on and uh asic.to as well so i mean I, I don't personally know which one's the best and i personally have not tried it yet but stay tuned once hive os can essentially you know be able to do it on the uh, double deck boards then i will test that out Okay, my friends, that's it for this video. Let me know down below if any of you guys are going to try this on your S19 in HiveOS. Like for me personally, I, I, I want to do it in HiveOS because I have all of my GP mining rigs on HiveOS already. So uh, easy to basically add uh, an ASIC miner. Like when you go to HiveOS, I don't have it up here, but when you go to HiveOS or add a worker, you can add an ASIC into your same farm with your GPUs, which is which is pretty cool. So I'll do that once uh, they have the double decked here uh, supported. 
Okay, my friends, thanks for watching. Thank you to HiveOS for sponsoring this video. And uh, guys, let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. And peace out.